Yo, 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 what's up, yo, 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 we gonna, we gonna slow it down so we can speed it up, y'all. Right now, I want everybody to come to the front, that's right, move forward. I want all the poppers and the breakers to form this circle. I want all the poppers, the breakers, the writers, and the excitement. It's John Robinson, peace to the people, off the top of the cerebral, live and direct, live in the set. This is internet, bizcap.com, know the drop bomb. This is how we do every time all along. Rhyming off camera, yo, I got the stamina. Every time we come back, yo, it's not hammer, bruh. It's John Robinson, flows like a lot of them, don't even question it, always blessed with this, every time you keep going, flowing and stunning, the music confusing, like Rubik's Cube, I thought you saw an illusion, but nah, it was the ill movements, every time you come through the mic, you show improvement, yo, it stays sharp like the sword, it's the mic, Lord, you keep touching it, yo, it coming back, boy, yo, stunning the music, Ruby and Chalo, put you in the mood when you go back and forth like a Leah Funk Freaker, mic the speaker, more soul than Aretha, yo, I need a baker rapper in the oven, sister niece and cousin, cause they buzzing like a killer bee, he got ability, this ain't the Wu-Tang He run up in your girl, ooh, thing Yeah, it's tighter than a shoestring Every time he come back, it's a new thing This how we do things It's off the top of the domain, spitting no profane Going like Rogaine, Xing out no names This is just a practice, acrobatic flip like gymnast This is how we did this Every time we come, this the business Yeah, we live at the brick This is how we do it when you're feeling this no, we can't curse on the microphone Cause this is Vizcaf Drink it down every time this night laugh Yo, we keep going on and on Rock it to the early morn We don't stop, y'all We got some guests later on You gonna feel this song You gonna feel this song We go strong Yeah, on and on DJ too fast to the break of dawn Yeah, you got the breaks Live and direct Just to live in your set And there ain't no fakes No imposters Sometimes we eat pasta, sometimes we cool out on the corner with the rosters Sometimes we come back on drum track and proper, yeah we drop it, it's never topic off This is how we do, we come off, top of the domain like I said before Yo you come back, turn it back and it's raw, then he turn it back around and cause a war Everybody wanna come through and settle score, but this ain't the Fuji It's John Robinson live in the place to be, and you can sue me, but you can't see me like a movie Every time we come back, it ain't Scooby Nah, no haunted, we come to flaunt this Every time we come back, yo, it's ill Metaphoric skill, yo, you're ready and you will Peace to 716, live in the mix This is how we do, yo, it's 82 and 6 DJ Too Fast, we bout to blast off Dr. Strange, you're going off, off Yo, he's up in the sky Of course it's John Robinson, still little sigh Still signs of life, it's always forever This is how we do it, like it's tougher than leather just like that, he hits you with the pose Everybody be like, oh man, I suppose Which way will he go with the freestyle? This is how we do, I ain't did this in a while Yo, back and forth, every time he coming off like a pendulum Send him into new dimension, son Late night like Letterman I think we should let him in the corridor of the portal Cause in 20, he was far from normal Hit you with the ill style, never bore you And keep going and flowing in steady motion blue We got you open like the vortex, live for you and it's wet like raw sex And it's rugged like Gore-Tex And it comes with more flex Every time we come we break necks and backs With the ill tracks And it's in the background But you still hear it in the floor Cause the fat sound That's that hip-hop, y'all The hip is in your hop And you don't stop, right? Yup He ain't have to write this one It's off the top of the mind Bite this one You can It don't matter I got too many rhymes Can't get it out So I spit it out Flavor's nasty like Guinness Stout What? He tore it out the notebook and wrote another one off the top of the domain to the brother some give the drummer some like james brown this is how we do this how it goes down we got the soul brother number one live and direct visual caffeine son peace yeah we live and direct right here tuned in brooklyn new york city visual caffeine transmitting all over the world we want to say peace to all the people all over the world that have been showing us love directly. Everyone out there in the Europe side of the world. Everyone out there in the Asia side of the world. Everyone on the West Coast, East Coast, Midwest, wherever you at. Out in the Caribbean, Biz Cab says peace and love. We see y'all. Keep spreading the word. And definitely keep letting people know about visual caffeine. Because we're going to keep pouring them gems. Word up. Peace by peace. Respect.
John Robinson, and you're watching Visual Caffeine. Check us out on the World Wide Web, vizcaf.com. And today, live in the studio, we have one of my comrades, Shabam Sadiq. This cat, Lyricist Lounge alumni, Raucous Records alumni, Polyrhythmatics alumni. I mean, yo, this cat's been around the world and now, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's been a long journey thus far, and he's still keeping it moving. Music projects, art projects, and a lot of other brilliant ventures that we'll get into today. But let's welcome Shabam Sadiq. How you doing, my brother? Great, brother. Great Thanks for having me. Absolutely. No visual caffeine salute. No doubt. Yeah, we still here after all these years. Absolutely, man. Putting that work in. So the first question I want to ask you, you know, when we met, we met in the 90s, mid to late 90s. And when we met, you know, you weren't a father at the time. You were grinding on the music, life was free, and, you know, we was vibing, loving it. What does it feel like, or how easy or difficult is it to balance fatherhood and still living your creative passion? It's definitely harder now than before. Like you said, it was carefree. We was traveling all over the world. Absolutely. You know, we could, we could go tomorrow. We ready to go tomorrow. Yeah. We ready to go tomorrow. We ready to go. And then, you know, same thing with the music. Like, we was able to say whatever. We still could say whatever, but, you know, I try to curb certain things, you know, because I know my kids are watching. I still keep it a little raw, but, you know, some of the stuff I curb because my, I know my son is listening Absolutely. closely. You know, Absolutely. so it just changed the dynamics a little bit, you know. I can't be gone for like three months like I used to be. No doubt. No doubt. My kids be hitting me on Skype like, yo, where you at? When you coming back? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, it definitely changes the dynamic. But, um, you know, we're still doing it. No doubt. You know, I brought my son, matter of fact, I brought my son to the 40th anniversary of hip hop. Beautiful. And, and, and um, five points before they closed. Five Beautiful. points. And he was able to see me perform because usually I perform in clubs. Exactly. So this was outside. So he was like, wow, this Lovely. is the first time he was able to see me. And it was ironic that it was the 40th anniversary of hip hop. You know, wow. uh, Cool Herc was there. Uh, Molly Moon was there. Wow. wow. A lot of people. So definitely wow. dope. And this was at Five Points. Okay. And it was at Five Points. Gotcha. All the graffiti and everything. Yeah, My man. son took a picture with Craig G. Yo, nope, for all so. you out there who know about that landmark, RIP to five points, man. Yeah, it's gone Definitely. now. So I'm, yeah. I'm glad I was able to bring him in and, and, and give him a taste of some real hip hop. No doubt. So let's talk about some music, man. I mean, your catalog goes back to the 90s, but we can't not talk about 2014, man. You put out a record, this record, critically acclaimed. I saw it passing all through the heavy media channels, people talking about it talking about it people supporting it and you won um an award for this record you know underground uh, music award 2014 i won uh album of the year yes independent album of the year so what did that feel like man we work hard it felt good man it felt good because you know i had i, I ran into i put a lot of stuff out a lot of singles a lot of records with on different records and stuff but this was like my first solo album that got received how i wanted it to got it see you got it the first one you know what I'm saying when it came out i had got locked up so i was in a transition so i didn't mm. really get to promote that i didn't get to tour that or anything i didn't get to go and no freestyle doubt. on sway or nothing i was no in doubt. jail so you know this one was like it was, it was beautiful because it got it received how i wanted to get received and i won the award and i got to you know absolutely touch all these different outlets that i didn't go touch yet so what about like the production on that album because there's a lot of standout production i mean um majority of it was done by lewis parker you know what I'm saying? one of my brothers you know what i mean straight analog sound you know sp 1200 yes I had to take it back you know then i had some futuristic sounds on there you know uh dj wonder from up at sirius I had um, DJ Skids from WNYU Big gave me Skiz. some bangers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I won the A&R room at, uh, at Sirius. Okay. You know, swaying okay. them through the A&R room. No doubt. No so doubt. the record that I that I put out, 
which was one of the singles that dope, you know what I'm saying, got received well up there. The callers gave it the feedback that I needed. Nice. And it prompted them to bring me up there to freestyle. So, you know, Beautiful. that was that was a good good look. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Keepers of the Lost Art definitely did what I wanted it to do. You know, and hopefully I, I'm, I'm going to hit them again. I'm going hit, to keep hitting them again and again and again. Yeah, and I definitely want to encourage all of you out there, if you haven't checked the album, check out Keepers of the Lost Art. And also check out, this man has a nice catalog of visuals that's circulating on the internet as well. There's a lot of videos that you can check out, all different vibes and flavors. Visuals, records, I mean, it's a lot of stuff out there, man. I mean, from, from Polyrhythmatic, the two albums that we had, one in the 90s, one in 2007. Uh, you know, Us Three, which was a jazz a jazz album that I was on, bro. We in Fifty Second, that was yes. on Blue Note. Yes. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff. You know, so definitely I got a, a good catalog of videos, which you can check at um, shabamsadik.com. That's S H A B A A M hyphen S A H D E E Q dot com. No doubt. And if you put the slash behind the dot com and put art. It'll take you to my art page. You'll see all the videos and art and stuff like no that, doubt. too. So, so we're going to talk about that next. I'm glad you said that. Recently, you had an art show. I want to say it was your first official yeah, art show. Yeah, first official art show. It was at Top Shelf Premium, which is like a, a vintage polo and uh, hill figure spot. You know, So I'm low life, so it was, it was like a good marriage. No doubt. Big. So and talk was, to me about the art. Like, when did that start for you? Like when did I mean, you know? I always, I was always able to draw and paint, and I always did graffiti. But you know, once I got caught a couple of times doing graffiti when I was younger, I was like, ah, mm. I kind of gave it up. I put it down. Got it. You know what I mean? But I was always able to draw and paint and stuff. But I picked it up again recently. You know, when a couple of my homegirls started taking me to the gallery. Ten grand for them. Nice. All they did was <laughs> splash nice. some paint. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, whoa, whoa. You know, and I seen some good stuff and I seen some whack stuff. So I was yeah. like, you know, I might try that. And then ironically, you know what I mean? My wife came home with like a, 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 a box of like oil paints and acrylics that she got that they gave to her at a job. Like, yo, you want this? So I took it. I bought some canvases. And the first three joints that I did sold. Mm, so I was nice. like, maybe this is, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Lucrative. Absolutely. So since then, I've been doing stuff for like my aunts and uncles and, and friends. You know, they all have stuff. People people that I know that got restaurants, they got my stuff up. So I was like, let me put together a collection of pieces and do my first art show. And see Beautiful. I can take it. Beautiful. So let's talk about travel. Because I don't know if we ever talked about this, but you're one of the cats that inspired my travels in a sense where I remember running into you, this was a while ago, it was a spot on Leonard where Knitting Factory used to be, but on the other end, I think it was called the Pepper Lounge or something, Spinner was DJing there. Right. You came in. There was so many clubs yeah. around that time. It still is. So, but, you know, all of them are still around, but with different names. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So this particular night, you come in, and you're chilling. You're vibing. You're feeling good. And we're talking, and you literally say, yo, I just got back from Japan. And you were talking Japan about Japan is the one of my favorite places in the world. Yeah. You know, the, uh, Japan, Amsterdam, you know, Paris. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's talk about, like, because there's artists out there that aspire to take their art and their creativity across the pond. Like, how important do you feel that is for an artist out there to actually leave the United States? And I think it's important to, 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 to travel and see other cultures and see other art. And, you know, I was inspired in Rome just by the architecture. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. It'll make you write stuff that you never wrote before you Absolutely. know i seen the 16th chapel i was like wow one dude painted this upside down on the roof like, yeah man you know yeah, what i mean yeah it's stuff that you're not gonna see here so and it's a different thing you when see. you're literally yeah. there yeah like you're like wow absolutely the coliseum you know? and all of that it, it, it's, it's it's inspiring too to see people in other countries that love what you do because sometimes yeah. you you know you hear and you in the hood and they like oh well you ain't on Hot 97, you ain't really popping and then when you go over there you got like six to thousands of people in in the crowd like ah exactly you know exactly. so 
but that's it's good to see the impact that you make all over the world. I feel like that's the brilliance of a lot of the music journeys. What people sometimes don't get is everything's not just put out there in the mainstream nah. for you, and that doesn't mean that it's not powerful, it's not quality, yeah. etc. You know, take an artist like yourself. We're standing here. There's people looking in and listening and tuned in right now who've never heard the music, but they love a lot of the people you've worked with. You've worked with Busta, you've worked with Pharrell, you've worked with, you know, Eminem, Eminem Most Def, a lot of exhibit, people's favorite G-Rap, artists. Exactly. You know, all the way to, to new cast like yourself. No doubt. I mean, I wouldn't say you knew, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yourself, Sky Zoo, uh, Torre, uh, I mean... The list is endless, you know what I mean? Endless. And that's the jewel because it's... This music is such a vast thing. You can't... There's no one that has the same journey, you know? Everyone has their different journey. It's like... And and, and no journey is ever going to be the same, you know? Because you meet different people. Y'all gel different, you know? You hit different parts of the planet. Like, you've been to Africa. I haven't been to Africa yet. It's going to happen. You know what I mean? That's one of the places where I'm dying to go. I've been all over the world, but I'm, I'm... missing africa i'm missing africa and i'm missing australia me too i'm missing australia <laughs> I been you know what I mean? that's a so. far one but yeah we're gonna make that happen and um i have another question i want to ask you do you have do you have a favorite music outside of hip-hop like a favorite genre oh definitely music? jazz nice jazz is definitely the other my other genre that i, I really like nice. you know i listen to a little bit of rock i mean i listen to all kind of music i really don't separate stuff too much i mean if it sounds good i like it nice you know it's nice. even some commercial music out there that i could tolerate that's pretty good you know that some underground heads would be like oh this is whack you know so no doubt. i listen no to doubt. all kind of stuff i take music for what it is if i like it i like it so i'm not take, mad at it if, if it's in a certain box so imagine if we take the mic away there's no music there's no art who should bam sadiq What's he doing? I'll probably be barbering. Because <laughs> nice. that's another extension of my nice. art. You know no what I'm saying? I'm no a doubt. barber. What? So, you know, a father, uh, a, a thinker, you know? Yeah. See, they Those have, things are important. Yeah. They always say barbers have, like, the most interesting conversations with so many different Cause, people. Because barbers are almost like therapists. When you sit in my chair... Absolutely. Tell me what happened. You know, we might have a debate about boxing. We might have a debate about hip hop. You know, it could go either way. And that's just like the center of the, the, the neighborhood. So, it you is. know, the, the older guys go there, the young, young high school dudes go there. You know, the mothers come in with their sons. So, you get to interact with everybody. No doubt. So, speaking of the barber. We can't leave out. I saw an animated series that you're a part of. Oh, yeah, of. Vin- Vinny the Animated Series, that. man. Um, You know, we got maybe like three episodes out there. And we also got like the short episodes that are made just for uh, Instagram. Nice. So they may be like 30 seconds. They real quick. They funny. You know, definitely Adult Swim ready. Nice. So we got a couple of them coming out this year. You know? uh, I mean, I've loved all that I've seen thus far. I saw all three episodes. Definitely quality, funny. I love the fact that you're you're, you're killing it with the voiceover game. Oh, yeah. I'm doing yeah. like three different voices. I'm, Absolutely. I'm trying to get my Eddie Murphy on. Nah, it's a beautiful <laughs> thing. So is that something that you aspire, like literally acting? I mean, yeah. I did a couple of acting scenes in, in, in different like independent films. Nice. Some of them that never came out. But, you know, I'm trying to get in the practice of doing that. The voiceovers is definitely easy to do. No, no I'm doubt. just trying to touch a lot of different things. Like, not trying to be a jack of all trades and a master of none, but really trying to master everything that points in the same direction. If you notice, you know, the art, the barbering, the cartoon is about barbering. It's, it has hip-hop Absolutely. in it. Everything points in the same Absolutely. direction. So it's all hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like I'm trying to do, like, different stuff that's on two different sides of the spectrum. They all point in the same direction. So I'm mastering hip hop. You dig what I'm saying? No doubt. So you're a visionary in a sense where you're one of the cats that I easily know who literally you control your destiny. You make moves within your career and play chess every day. Yeah, I'm trying to make some things happen. I mean, 
if you're not working a nine to five mm -hmm. every day, it's important to, you know, be out there Absolutely. testing the waters and, and making different things happen. So what do you feel as an independent artist are some of the like most important components that you have to just know to really maneuver in today's independent industry? I mean, you definitely got to master the internet. The, the internet is a gift and a curse in the sense that a lot of people could get in it and, and put stuff out. Mm -hmm. But if you master it the right, right way, you could touch people millions of miles away with it. You no know doubt. what I'm saying? For instance, this show, you know, the, the Instagram, Absolutely. Facebook, Twitter, whatever. That's how I was able to go overseas. Because before in the 90s, you know, the label handled everything, you know, they got all the fan mail. They knew what was going on. We True. had we had no True. touch with True. nothing. Great point. We didn't know who who liked our stuff. The, the, the twelve inches went out. People bought them, and we didn't we didn't have control of our fans. Now we have more control on our fans. We could put our finger on the pulse of what's going on. Who's Absolutely. really liking us? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we could kind of control it. Um. Another thing is like if you an MC or a rapper, you should definitely have your own equipment at least to do some vocals because then you're not pigeonholing the spending mad money in other people's studio. Great you point. Master and do pre-production in your house. Um, you know, I mean, it's a whole lot of little components that all add up. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Um, you know, knowing about publishing, registering songs. Uh, you know, knowing about uh, streams and how to get paid off of streams. No doubt. You know. These are gems, y'all. A lot of, lot, lot of little things, you know what I mean, that all add up to, you know, you might not get the super big check, but, you know, all these checks add up. You got to know about copyright songs and, you know, little stuff definitely do add up because when people take one of your songs and they end up in a commercial and all the paperwork ain't right, you might be missing out on some bread. Absolutely. That's real deal. That's yeah. real deal. Register those songs. So, any new projects on the horizon? I mean, I'm sure they're. Yeah, cute. I got a couple EPs, couple uh, projects that I'm doing with like one producer. Okay. You know what I mean? I got another project that I'm doing that's a series of EPs. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Can you talk more about any of them? I don't want to say too much. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? Because sometimes I put ideas out there. And I see people run with the ideas before I get to Great really point. sink my teeth in it. So Great now I'm learning to just hold back a little bit until at least I have them completed. And then I could, you know, if it's close to coming out, then I could talk about it. But it, I'm still in the work, so I want to, you know what I mean? But Absolutely. definitely I got a few projects coming out this year. And a few more art shows, you know, travel, everything. So if I said visual caffeine, what does that mean to you? Visual caffeine. I mean, I'm I'm a coffee lover. You know what I mean. My my family from Venezuela, so I grew up drinking coffee. No and, doubt. Uh, when you say visual caffeine, to me is you know drinking that Boostello in the morning and staying up with my eyes wide open <laughs> and watching what's going on. No question. So that visual caffeine is a, actually a good name for a show. You know, stay no up and watch what we got to give you. <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, of course, man. We're gonna definitely. Make sure that we show some of the art so that people could see some yeah, of this brilliant artwork. Yeah, definitely. I got a, a good video um, shot and directed by Elise Pharrell of my first art show. You know, he also shot a couple of my videos like Keepers of the Lost Art no and um, you know, Seasons Change. Yes. Dig? So, yeah, yes. definitely. We get into all of that. So, I would say now, just tell the people where to find you. Uh, ShabamSadiq.com. Uh, S-H-A-B-A-A-M hyphen s-a-h-d-e-e-q dot com no doubt. and like i said when you go there you'll see all my social network buttons at the top so all of that reverb nation instagram tumblr it's all at the top you can hit it then i have another like a a, a video player that has plays all my videos solo videos then all the videos i was featured on under it you know interviews everything is is, is uniform i got a uh, pictures a gallery and then at the bottom you press it and it goes to my blog no doubt if you press the part that says art it'll go to my art page which has a whole new set of videos of my art show yes and different pieces of my art so 
And the reason I know this, because I checked the news site about a week ago, <laughs> and it's together. No, that's really. another thing. That's it's, a, it's important for it's you to have a home base as an artist. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Because anybody could get Facebook, and anybody could get any of these free sites. But when you have your home base, you can meet somebody and actually send them there. So you cutting the whole EPK out. They see your bio. They see everything. They see all your videos. They Absolutely. can surf. Your, your actual website for like an hour if they really interested. Absolutely. You know? No, that's important. Out there, all you aspiring artists, get your online real estate locked down. Get your dot .com, your yeah, dot it's, net It's worth the money, I, I come to find out. Because certain people, you know, they really do the research. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. Any last words? Um, You know, check for the new videos, new albums. Everything will be on ShabamSadiq.com. You know, everything. No doubt. Yo, the man, the myth, the legend, Shabam Sadiq. Yo. Salute, yeah. visual caffeine. Visual caffeine. Check out the website, shabamsadiq.com. And yo, vizcaf.com. Tune in to us. Thank y'all for tuning in. We out. Kruger, Myers, Jason, Leatherface, Bates, Motel, Murder Rappers when I'm on a paper chase. No filler, Godzilla on track, breathe fire on buildings and level your city flat. Where you at? I'm like Vincent Price, a thriller. Narrate the horror, hear the screams in your building. Maniac attack tracks like serial killers. Leave no trace of evidence for forensics. Rugby duffel, muffler on a pistol. Don't piss me off and make this into an issue. Do you like bobcat tractors and straight lift you? Cement you into the wall, the family will miss you. Reaper kiss you on your forehead, the flow cold red. Hazmat chemical splash, your front line dead. Disintegrated, every song you made I hate it. From the words to the cadence and the you say it <laughs> uh. yo we live and direct we live and direct you can catch us live on the internet vizcaf.com yo work yeah we drop bomb yo top flight we aim high coasting no alibis, shaping my destiny, each step of the way, king. Eyes on the prize, y'all, far from a plaything. Patience awakens greatness on a higher. Flat toe follow what's natural to your desire. Actual life or script is transpire. The real thing, no informer, rocking the wire. No, authentic, splendid, highly recommended, intended to do what I said in every sentence, endless. Yup, it's all around the world, tremendous To think, yo, it grew from a sentence So much ground to cover, it gets strenuous He's calling the president, we hold it down, continuous Way young kid, been the lyricist Made it to the culture, roots indigenous Such vivid bliss, we flip and keep it tasty like licorice Sometimes it gets nasty, bitter like glitterous Ridiculousness, when we come back, you ticklish Back girl, this is how we do, yo, the rap world Get kinda shady sometimes, but we come back Independent is in these times, so we Run that all the time. Your best dick, Doc Strange, and we put you in the style range. Uh. Wave riders get splashed by the riptide Crack your surfboard, wash you up, quick snitch high The previous was just a fraction of my fortitude My balls break back, snap next, we on to you Swooping in from an aerial view, we spotted you Red dotted you, now you a thought of the past A memory of an enemy caught in a muzzle flash Say cheese, none of that tough guy act last at last, the soothsayer, the true sprayer, say your prayers before I hit you with a few layers. Your man corny, he bore me with the most stories of his past glories. Rolling with a better army, your chick army, believe it or not. But I'm married, so I gotta pass on a twat. Just that grown man rap, stand snap like a bed trap. Chew your ankle off, enormous crunch when you hear that. <laughs> one, two, one. Check it out, man. Visual caffeine, you know what it is. One time for your mind, Shabam Sadiq, John Robinson, and the newly Dragon Skeleton, a.k.a. Dr. Strange. DJ Too Fast, let's do it. Check it out, y'all, one time. Here we go. As I analyze your arteries flowing to your brain, your membrane is in pain. I have you screaming out, Strange! Come back, strange, cause you're on my be and while my brain I be leased like a stereotyping instrument, not corrupt like the government hiding in your genetic cells like an AIDS virus, writing rhymes on paper walls and even papyrus. And if I run out of ink, that's when you really get burned, cause I will pull out my and write rhymes with my sperm. I'm the everlasting cop, oh boy. We live. <laughs> we on internet TV, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it is. 
Live and die. <laughs> We're going to put this back to the host, the most. My man, Shabam, take it away, bro. I'm going to pass it all to Little Sai, a.k.a. John Robinson, Shabam Shadik. Doing it since the 90s. Find me on the internet now. Watch the nearest show. It's live. We put it down. They said they can't freestyle. Well, here it is. Off the top of the dome. I'm handling my biz. This is how we do it. Nothing but the raw hip hop. And it don't stop ever. We keep going till it's down in the casket. Grave. They don't understand. I never been a slave. I only been a slave to the rhythm. I give them what I gotta give them. And what they need, what they want. Yeah, I never front. I always come up front. And Give it, put it down, yeah, spirits, ancestors, yeah, I never front, it's SS, yeah, yeah, what you want? <laughs> yo, 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 who said you couldn't freestyle, it's ridiculous, since back in the 90s we was lounging with lyricists, sitting in the cut so conspicuous, now we live and direct, yo, you witness this, live on Vizcaf, this is an ill staff, yeah, we coming, stunning the music, don't laugh. Cause it's serious business, the lyricist Coming back flip like acrobatic gymnast did Yeah, too fast on the daily cut We hit you with the style, Viz Cap, we say what up? Live freestyle, dropping science Work crews like household appliance I'm relying, piece of 716, he's in the mix, yeah See, uh, Yeah, we doing this on the flip Oh man, he always messed up But instead he manifests up right off the rip, yup this off the top of the cranium, what should I say to them? We live at Brick Media Arts, it's not a stadium. We got the back forth like a Leah, funk freaker, mic speaker, soul like a leader. Yeah, we live and direct. I hope y'all feeling that. It comes from the chest, it's from the heart. We throw a shot like darts. Word up, hip hop is an art. Keep us in a lost art like Shabam Sadiq. And the MC stepping in the cypher to speak. But you better make sure that the rhymes ain't weak. Cause everything we come from is so manifest. And yo, bass, word up, dropping science. Visual caffeine, you're tuned in right now. Shabam Sadiq, Doc Strange, DJ Too Fast. My name is John Robinson, and we like to say, peace.